Astro's Playroom from Team Asobi is a free pack and launch game for PS5 meant to showcase what the DualSense can do. And my time with it, I was allowed to preview the Cooling Springs level, certainly hinted at some of the potential for what the new controller can deliver in a surprisingly Nintendo-like way, while also being a joyful PlayStation homage and a fun platformer in its own right. Vaguely set in the cooling fan of the PS5, Cooling Springs first throws you into a beachfront area replete with other bots swimming, learning to surf, and soaking in the rays from inside your PS5. Logic aside, and who am I kidding, I find it hilarious that in this game's lore there's a hidden beach tucked away inside the admittedly huge PlayStation 5. It's a nice area to get your sea legs as you smash crates for coins, collect puzzle pieces, and observe the many bots. After starting the level in a short slide later, your Astro is thrown into the water and the DualSense starts to give off a vague wavy rumble. There's a lightness to it, with the pressure of a current of water there one second and then washing over and gone the next. The controller isn't suddenly submerged in water, but the sense of buoyancy of pushing lightly through a relatively calm body of water translates through the DualSense. The new controller really comes alive in the second stage of the world, where I don the costume of a bouncing frog with a mechanical spring connecting its body to a single foot on the ground. This portion of the world plays in 2D, as I can only move my ribot, I'm, I'm really sorry, from side to side. Here, the DualSense tricks my head into thinking I can sense the spring now attached to my bot. What I mean is, while stationary, I can move the DualSense from side to side, and a light crinkling sensation runs through the controller. It's as if I smushed a slinky together and twisted its coils so that they brushed up against one another. Adding to the effect is the light mechanical tinks and clinks emitting from the DualSense's speaker. By combining the two sensations, it creates a much more palpable effect. There's a spring-loaded toy on screen and in my hands as I play, and it's pretty delightful. Cooling Springs continues on for another two sections, one that throws in icy surfaces to skate across in 3D, and another 2D springy section with trickier timing than before. The ice is one of the big standouts. If I slowly walk across it, I can hear and sense each tap on the ice, while skating across it offers a faint, thin, constant rumble that goes on like a held note in a song. None of these moments where the DualSense comes into play feel like they're necessarily essential to the act of beating the level. I could probably just as easily make any jump or get through any barrage of enemies using a DualShock 4, which I can't test since PS4 controllers don't work with PS5 games. But just because these added features aren't necessary to win, which may be a benefit to those worrying that next-gen will force games to dramatically change how they control, doesn't mean that each implementation wasn't a joy. All the added functions are complementary and additive to the level, and it's certainly a delightful one to experience as my first hands-on with the PS5 and its new controller. Thankfully, the level's beautiful too. While Astro, even in this new generation, is not a series designed to offer the most detailed environments around, its combination of bright colors, angled or distinct geometry, and sleek tech theming look beautiful on PS5. The malleability of this robot utopia inside our consoles flows from beaches to spa springs to icy tundras without skipping a beat, nor does it miss an opportunity to throw in delightful PlayStation Easter eggs. It is far too soon to say if the DualSense's added functionality will go the same way as the PS3's 6-axis, but Astro's Playroom makes a solid argument that it is tech that deserves to be explored and, in the right hands, leads to some pretty surprising depth in yours. I don't think the tech is the generation's game-changer necessarily just yet, and certainly should devs ignore or minimize its use, we'll likely see traditional controls win out yet again. Cooling Springs, one of four worlds in Astro's Playroom, feels like just dipping a toe into the potential waters for what the DualSense can do, and it has me excitedly ready to dive in to see what else is in store. For more on the PS5, be sure to check out our weekly PlayStation Show podcast Beyond and take a look at the PS5's unboxing. And of course, for everything else PlayStation 5, you're already in the right place, IGN.